Hey you guys, welcome back. Okay, so now that I've made that video where I compiled a lot of my intros from the last year together, I realize I started a lot of videos with, hey you guys, welcome back. And I don't know, is that a thing that is okay? I think it is, because I'm probably just gonna keep doing it out of habit. Anyway, so today it is feeling like we have this little taste of springtime and oh, that's just making me so happy in my soul. And so, yeah, and then when you see this video, it'll, or when I upload this video, it'll be, or it'll be Friday and my birthday is on Saturday on the 17th. I'm just gonna do a video where I draw my favorite flower ever very typical, the sunflower. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And just, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so as usual, I'm finding a reference photo. I think that's the best way to get started. I just Googled sunflower for that one. Using the same old, same old pen and the same old, same old notebook. And we're just gonna do this. So to start my sunflower, I'm drawing a big old circle right in the middle doesn't have to be perfectly round, doesn't even have to have connected lines. And then you draw a circle inside of that circle and it looks like a little um, body cell that you would draw in biology class, you know, when you're learning about mitosis, okay? That's what it looks like. Just to start out, we're going to add detail later, no worries. And then the petals are such a no-brainer. I think you just draw these little teardrop-esque kind of shapes all around. And you know what? The thing to think about with sunflowers is just that the center is going to be super massive. Comparatively, the petals are going to be kind of small and a little bit stubby and irregular, if, if you can see that. If you saw the video about daisies last week, the daisies have kind of a small center and then really long petals, but I feel like with the sunflower, you just want to think a little bit differently as to how you're drawing the petals. So just kind of filling it in all around, different sized petals, different um, spacing, drawing the petals in front and behind, and just varying teardroppy kind of shapes. It doesn't have to be perfect. And that's what makes it such a no-brainer to draw. As long as you keep that center really huge and keep the petals kind of shorter comparatively, proportionately. You can kind of see that. Almost looks like a lion's mane. Look at that. When you add detail, it's really going to bring it all together, of course. So this is just the general shape. And I'm going to fill in the center of the flower now with these little rainbow shapes. Oh, thank you for zooming in. Why don't you always forget that, huh? Okay, so as you can see, I'm just drawing these little rainbow shapes, little upside down U shapes all throughout. And that's just going to be the shape that I use on that outer ring. So I'm just going to fill it all the way in with this shape. And it doesn't have to be perfect. The point of using this shape and then on that smaller center I'm going to be using some different shapes so that we can have that difference of texture that you see with sunflowers in the center like the very very center so I'm just going all the way around filling it in not worrying about making it super dark just kind of making sure that whole center is filled in and of course I sped up this part of the video because you have to be kind of patient to do the center of a sunflower like this. And then I'm going to move on to that inside center. I'm starting with some lines just to kind of blur out that guideline that I created at first. For the most part on this inside very very center I'm going to be drawing lines and dots instead of u-shapes so you can kind of see how I'm filling that in the center I try and make it darker than the outer ring so this the middle ring is going to be darker and um, kind of have more texture to it in a way just so that it can look different than that outer ring and give that sunflower the m most characteristic look of the sunflower which is that huge center with the varying textures and 
the petals I'm filling in the way I always fill in petals. So making sure the bottom of the petal that's closest to the center is really dark to create that dimension and that way the, the petal looks when it's like dipping into the center of the flower. Yeah. With sunflowers, um, I don't know if you look at the photo that I chose or if you look at various photos of it, I feel like the petals of the sunflower kind of have really defined lines to it. So that might be a way that you could approach something like this. As always, I'm making sure the, the petals in the back are mostly dark so that you can kind of, your brain will think that it's in the back. But it's really just the same way that I fill in all petals. The only thing that's a little bit different is I'm kind of mentally dividing the petal into thirds when I'm filling in the bottom shading, like the one that's closest to the center. I'm kind of creating that depth like that. And then when I do the top, I do more of the center. I don't know if that even made sense, but you can kind of see how I'm doing that. But yeah, so I'm just going to fill this all the way in. Yeah, it's the same way that I fill in most of my petals, like just like this. All right, so I'm just putting those finishing touches, seeing which petals need a little bit more love. And the sun is peeking through my window and it's so pretty. And I'm just going to go ahead and add some leaves in the stem. The stem of the sunflower, of course, is very, very thick. So make sure that you can portray that. And then the leaves are kind of that teardrop shape again, but they're kind of wiggly and irregular. Um, and I'm just kind of following the picture for where to place the leaves. They're huge generally, so I'm just kind of doing the smaller ones that end up at the top of the stem. I and mean, you can see how I'm filling those in really simply. Um, I'm, I'll probably add some depth later to them, but nothing too crazy. I think they look really nice when they're just simple like that. That piece right there that's definitely behind the sunflower, I'm making it nice and dark to create that shadow. Really, that's kind of all it is. That's is. I'm kind of adding that little bit of depth, but other than that, it's a really simple flower to draw. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys learned a little bit about my love, the sunflower, as we're exiting winter. Technically sunflowers are summer, but you know, you know, who cares? Like, I like sunflowers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, be sure to check out any of my other videos if you want to keep learning how to draw flowers. Bye you guys. Have a great week and a great weekend and all of that good stuff. Love y'all. See ya.